So it occurred to me that on both of my videos, I haven't had a handlebar mustache, even though my handle is Captain Handlebar. So today I thought I'd do a little tutorial on how to do a handlebar mustache. And also my favorite five mustaches in rock and roll. So let's get started. First I got this mustache wax, got it at Rite Aid. And we just want to put a little bit on each index finger. That's how I do it anyway. For number five on the best mustaches has to be Ron Mayall from The Sparks. Many people probably haven't heard of The Sparks. They're a pretty good band. They come from the 70s. Anyway, The Sparks were a really good band. You want to take that and you just want to rub it into your mustache curl like so. See how nice and curly that is? Got to keep working it in. Anyway, so the Sparks is a really good band from the 70s. They've been around forever. And uh, the guy has what I like to call the Chaplin. But it looks like the Hitler stash, whatever. It's really cool. And later on he went to like the more of a pencil stash look. Number four on that list is Weird Al Yankovic. Back in the 80s he was known for his fro and his mustache and his crazy parodies and stuff like that. He still comes out with new albums today. Um, but he had his mustache up until the late 90s and then he decided to give it a shave. This side's being a little bit of a pain in the butt. Um, anyway, number three on the list is Lemmy Killmeister from Motorhead. His mustache is legendary. Such a cool stash, such a cool guy. I don't have any of his albums, but he did work with Dave Grohl on an album called Probot, which is like Dave Grohl's heavy metal album, or metal album. A whole bunch of guest stars in it. It's really good. I recommend picking it up. Number two on that list. You just gotta keep curling. You gotta see if you can try to make them symmetrical. I think I might have to do this one over again because it's just not looking right. Or I might just do the Salvador Dali and have it white out. Anyway, number two on the list. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't pick just one, so I had to pick all four of them. The Beatles. Back when Sgt. Pepper came out, they sported those mustaches and they knew how to rock them. They were changing their image, they were changing their sound, they were more experimental. And uh, they had some great mustaches too. probably using more of this mustache wax than I should, but what the hey. Anyway, this one's perfect. This one's being a punk, so I'm just trying to get it to do its little curl thingy here. Unfortunately, I doubt they make a curling iron for mustaches. There we go. All right, so number one on that list, since my mustache is complete, is Jesse Hughes from Eagles of Death Metal. You might know him as Boots Electric. Great guy, great band, met him a few times, he signed an autograph for my kids, signed my Eagles of Death Metal album. He's just a nice guy with a, with a great stash. Um, I remember a few years back, I saw the Eagles of Death Metal at um, the Mayan in LA, and he comes up to me and he's like, great stash, I think that was back in like 2007, 2008. So yeah. Anyway, that's my favorite five mustaches of, in rock and roll, or my favorite anyway. I hope you like my video. Hope you like the stash. Feel free to like it, subscribe it, comment down below, and share it with your friends. You know, if anything, I hope you learned how to uh, sort of do a handlebar. Number one, though, the number one key to growing or to doing a handlebar mustache is to have a mustache. You can't really do it with nothing. So I'll see you later, and peace out.